Hi everyone. Today I am going to make some barbecued hot dogs. Uh, this will be suitable for BBBE, beef, bacon, butter, and eggs. Got my buns, got my clean ingredient, clean condiments here, and my very clean hot dogs, which I'm going to tell you all about in the next segment. I'm Anita from ketogenicwoman.com where I share keto and carnivore recipes and other cooking ideas. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you enjoy today's video and check out some of my other ones. For those of you returning, welcome back. Hope you love today's video. Okay, so outside in my little backyard area, which uh, is the first time I've done anything out here on camera. Um, you may hear some banging in the background. There is construction going on at one of the buildings down there. Um, but I wanted to, uh, if, if, you've, if you're in Canada and you've tried to find clean hot dogs, you know how hard that is. These hot dogs I got in my true local box. And uh, they are zero carbs. Ingredients are beef, water, salt, sodium phosphate, sodium nitrate, spices, may contain mustard. I'm okay with that. Uh, these are the cleanest hot dogs I've seen in Canada. So I'm going to barbecue them on my little barbecue. Uh, we're going to get that uh, barbecue going. While you're waiting for me to cook these, uh, you can watch my unboxing of the True Local box I got yesterday. So we'll see you back in the next segment. everyone, my first box from True Local has been delivered, so I want to see what is in here. Uh, okay, information about dry ice, it comes packed in dry ice. Looks like recipe. What do you call a bison who's good at telling lies? A buffalo. Ah, okay. I wonder if I'll get one of those every time. So I I know you're supposed to be careful about the dry ice. So just taking a peek down here, see what we have. I think I, I need to maybe grab my oven mitts or something just in case. Okay, so here's my haul. I took it out of the box. Um, so I got some, some bratwurst sausages here. They came from Hopcott Farms. Um, these are called bacon bits. What, what they really are is big chunks of, of bacon. Like they look like little ends and things. So I got a couple of packages of those. And this is short ribs. You guys know how much I love my short ribs. Okay, look at those. I wanted to try some all beef hot dogs. Uh, I read the ingredients on them and uh, they were pretty clean. So same with these meatballs. These are, I don't know what that says. Some kind of meatballs. I got a brisket. This is a two pound brisket. It's so hard to get small briskets. Usually when I see them at the store, like I can't even lift them, they're so big. So I, you know, I'm really wanting to, to find one that's small like that. I wanted to try their bacon. So that's what that is. And this was a freebie. Uh, it was like a coupon code that they gave me to try out their services. So to skinless, boneless. Oh, you guys know how much I <laughs> don't love skinless, boneless chicken breasts, except that these are going to go in the sous vide. And I love them in the sous vide. Um, I can actually hardly wait to try these. I bet they're really good. So uh, I'm going to... Uh, put this all in my freezer and then when I come back uh, I can tell you a little bit more about this whole um, subscription box that I got. 
Okay, so we have the hot dogs on the barbecue right now. Uh, I'll take you over there in a minute to see the progress, but I wanted to talk about what True Local is. It's, uh, you know, like butcher, bo blo butcher box in the US. For us Canadians, it's a subscription service, which you can alter, cancel, you know, do all those things any, anytime you want, like next month. I'm going to be on a road trip in Alberta, so I'll have to cancel my box that's coming next month um, and then just postpone it till August. But um, yeah, you can order meat. It's locally sourced from various farms. Um, that's where I got the clean hot dogs from. It's so hard to find those. Um, I've also got a few other things to try out. I'm going to try out as probably everything in that box so that when I come back from my road trip, I'll be ready to order another one. Um, and so I don't know, I mean, you can, you know, do your own custom box or they have some suggestions, um, but I'm going to put that link to their website down below. I don't know if they're going to give me a discount code or anything at this point. I'm going to ask. So by the time this video is, is up and live, um, that information will be down below as well. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy about finding that service here. I, I was always wondering if there was a service like that here in Canada. And I don't know if it's all provinces or, or what it is. So it's kind of nice to be out here. This is like, we have such rare sunny days and it's supposed to rain in a couple of hours and it's already clouding over. Um, last month we had Maybember. Now we're into January. I swear we've had two or three nice days. And yeah, so you have to take advantage when, when those happen. So we are out here hoping that the rain will hold off until the hot dogs are, are ready at least. So I'm gonna bring you over to the uh, barbecue and we'll see how they're doing. Look at these, they're, they're getting there. Getting some nice little grill marks on here. I think they're going to be ready in a few minutes. Whoops, don't want to lose any. It does have a lip around it, so. So I'm gonna close that up for another few minutes and hopefully we will be having lunch pretty soon. I've got a couple of the BBBE buns that I made. I made a bunch of them this morning. They are soft and fluffy, ready for a couple of hot dogs to go in. I'm going to link that recipe down below. You can do either a printable card or um, you can, I have a YouTube video as well where I made the bread. Exact same recipe, except that you put it in a bun pan and bake it for 10 or 12 minutes, um, then put the butter on. Like I, I brushed some butter on top and some Redmond salt and they are ready to go for our hot dogs so um, we'll see you back when we're ready to eat these and give them a taste test. I, I'd say they're almost ready so I'm gonna give them maybe two minutes so while we're waiting it's been a while since I've actually had my own barbecue um, the other one in the old place where I was living uh, it had been thrown out a couple years earlier and because my mom was living there and she was a walking fire hazard <laughs> We, we decided that we just were not going to replace it. Um, but my friend, who uh, she gave this to me. This was her barbecue. She decided to go vegan and no more meat ever. So uh, I inherited this from her. So it's used but works totally fine. And I think I'm going to take a couple of hot dogs off of here and uh, put them in the buns. So, let's do that. You could actually heat these buns up on here too by just sticking them on here for a couple minutes. But I kind of like soft, fluffy buns as opposed to crispy buns. So your choice. And then we will go over to the table. Look what we have here. I'm sure you guys will get a bite. I just want to taste a piece first that's naked. You know, just just some quality control here. Let's let's do this. Mm, it smells great. 
Boy, there is a lot of racket out here today. Sorry about that. <laughs> The joys of being outside in a community like this. These taste amazing. I have bought some clean hot dogs before. They were nowhere near as clean as the ingredients on this one. That I just I just didn't like them. These these are these are hot dogs. These are hot dogs. I'm very excited. I will be definitely adding these to my next order. Let's get a little bit of ketchup. So I'm using um, Primal Kitchen's sugar-free ketchup. There's no sweetener in here. This is not exactly BBBE compliant, but I'm living it up today with these hot dogs. And I'm just going to put a little bit on this first one here. And some mustard. I've got some Dijon mustard. And I hear there's a shortage of Dijon mustard. There seems to be worldwide shortages of a lot of things. So this is my favorite way to have a hot dog. So everything, uh, the buns and the, and the hot dogs, it's all BBBE compliant, except for the condiments. So the condiments are up to you. Um, but I'm gonna give this a try. Mmm. Look how big and juicy. Mm -hmm. Well, you guys are in for a real treat once I finish my fill of eating. The dog trainer said, always eat first and feed your dogs last. And that way they know who's in charge. So I'm going to eat first and then I'm going to give them each a little piece. So I hope you guys uh, like today's video and we're going to see you next time i'm having lunch see you on the next video Thank <laughs> you.